Welcome to the 2009 Adidas Victorian All Schools Road Relays at the picturesque La Trobe University. First event of the day was for the under 14 boys and girls with two kilometre legs for each runner. In the boys, Trinity took the early lead from Marcelin and Caulfield. During the second leg, Caulfield went to the front with Marcelin second and Trinity third. At the last change, Caulfield was still leading from Marcelin and Trinity. Jake Malone anchored Caulfield to take the first victory of the day. Trinity's Daniel Smith moved his team into second with the fastest time in the under 14 division of 6 minutes 30 for the two kilometres. And third was Marcelin. And the top eight finishes for the under 14 boys. For the girls under 14, it was Wrighton Peninsula with Turak third. By the first change, Wrighton had established the lead. Peninsula and Wrighton then started swapping the lead. At the last change, it was Wrighton from Peninsula with Turak still third. Wrighton went on to a comfortable win. Peninsula was second. And Turek maintained their third placing. And the top eight finishes from the under 14 girls. Next up were the under 16 boys and girls. In the boys section, St Kevin's took the lead ahead of a tight bunch. First changeover saw St Kevin's, then little between Padua, Marcelin, Camberwell and Scotch. It was then a three-way battle between Marcelin, Padua and Xavier. Final change, it was down to Marcelin and Xavier. But it was Marcelin who prevailed for the win. Xavier second. And Padua were third. And Marcelin earned valuable team points with two teams in the top eight. For the girls under 16, Samantha Prime again led Berwick off to a good start. This left Brighton and Sacra Kerr chasing. Henley, Essendon and Calester improved to be in the hunt for the medals ahead of Wrighton. Berwick went on to record a convincing win. For the minor placings, Wrighton and Calester raced each other to the line, with Wrighton just getting home for the silver. Following their win in the cross-country relays, it was another dominant display by Berwick. Adidas were again on hand this time with their foot scan system to help runners get the right shoe for their individual action. And you're going to put your left foot in the middle of the plate, so we're going to walk forward, and then you're going to go left foot, and then keep walking around. Okay? Yep, but just like, so, so do you see these, are, this shows like pressure through your feet? Uh, so you see that all here as well on your left hand uh, side, and all move, that line moves towards you, so it has a bit of arch support on the inside. Uh, okay. Next up were the under 18 relays. This time each leg was three kilometres. Peninsula, Marcelin and Caulfield led out the under 18 boys. Caulfield soon established a clear lead. By the second leg, Peninsula had pegged back Caulfield, but Marcelin soon worked their way into second. At the last change, it was clearly Caulfield. Marcelin and then Peninsula. But a fast finishing St Kevin's was close behind. 
At the end it was St Kevin's who overhauled three teams to claim victory. A close second was Caulfield, with Marshall in third. It was a two second margin between first and second, with Marshall another 18 seconds back. For the under 18 women, McRobertsons were the first leg leaders ahead of Kerry and Turak. Then Kerry took over at the front, followed by McRobertsons, Turak, Caulfield and Wesley. With one leg to go, Kerry was still in the lead. McGrob second, and Wesley had surged into third. Kerry had little trouble winning. A strong last lap by Keanu Tourmay pushed Caulfield into the silver, while Wesley hung on for the bronze. Kerry showed their depth with two teams in the top eight. Hungry athletes and spectators were fed by Diamond Valley Athletic Club. Hamburgers, hot dogs! We need to be the flipping. Hot dogs? We need to be the flipping now. Okay. The last race of the day was the under 20s. For the boys, it was a tight first lap, with Caulfield taking a small lead. Heather Berry moved up to share the lead. But it was Ballarat's Aaron Green, fast third leg, who took them to the lead at the last charge. Haley Berry and Marston were still locked in a close battle. Ballarat was first. Haley Berry second. Marston third. This was Ballarat's best return for the day with an 11 second win over Haley Berry. The under-20 girls saw Grace Tech get MLC off to a good start from Halleberry and Penley Essendon. Halleberry then took the lead. Penley Essendon and Wrighton were in the minor placings at the last change. Heather Berry went on to record a comfortable win. Penley Essendon was second. MLC came through for third ahead of Brighton. Heather Berry dominated this division with a big win and two top eight results. Hope you enjoyed this coverage of the 2009 Adidas Victorian All Schools Road Relays. This is Jane Z for Atsvic TV.